it's Josie. Today's Halloween tutorial is on a sugar skull. It's such a classic look that I had to do my take on it, so I hope you enjoy! I'm starting this look out by wearing my purple circle lenses. Then I'm moving straight on to covering my brows with a glue stick and just pressing my brow hairs down with a spatula or you can just use your finger. Then I'm using a primer to prep my skin and also to make a smooth surface for the face paint. Next, I'm just tracing out the shape around my eyes, starting at the top of my brow and then just following the hollows of my eye sockets. And I'm just doing this with a black eyeliner pencil. It's totally fine if you don't get both shapes completely symmetrical because it's not going to be very noticeable afterwards. Now I'm going to fill in this entire area with a black gel eyeliner and I'm also going to apply this to my waterline. Here I'm taking a light purple pigment and with a patting motion I'm just applying this to my eyelid. Next, I'm taking a slightly darker purple and I'm just blending this in my crease area above the first shade. Then I'm setting the rest of this area with a black eyeshadow and don't forget to set your waterline so that it stays black for as long as possible. And to make the eyes look even more intense, I'm just lining that top waterline as well. Now I'm moving on to the face paint. I'm using one that is activated by water. So just spray some water on the surface and then it's ready to apply. I'm starting by applying the paint on my forehead and then working my way down covering my entire face including my lips. Make sure that you're careful around the eyes. I suggest using long and slow strokes to really get that clean edge. Of course you can paint your neck and chest and however much of your body that you wish. But I decided to end up my jawline and create a really sharp edge there. Now I'm going to create the classic scalloped edge around my eyes and for that I'm using a liquid lipstick with a small eyeliner brush. First I'm just going around and drawing the shape around my eyes and then I'm gonna fill it in. Next I'm using a yellow eyeliner to outline the purple. I chose yellow because it's the contrast color of purple and I thought it would look really cool and really make my eyes pop. Now I'm using a pink blush to contour and to give my face some dimension. Now it's time to start drawing all kinds of different designs on your face and for this you can do whatever you like. I decided on doing a cross and then a spider web on my forehead. Then I'm going back to that purple liquid lipstick and I'm gonna draw some whimsical lines on my forehead and on my cheeks. For my chin, I decided to draw a diamond, so I'm taking this blue eyeliner pencil and tracing out the shape, and then I'm taking a darker blue pencil to outline and also fill in the pattern on the inside of the diamond. Then I'm just coloring that in, leaving some white spaces in between to highlight. On my lips, I just applied a light pink blush with my finger for a soft look. Then I went ahead and filled in the inside of my lips with some black eyeliner. And then to create the skull mouth, I just dragged two lines from the corners of my mouth and then just drawing on some teeth by just creating lines going over my lips and on my cheeks. Then I decided to put some glitter gel on my lips as well. It didn't show up that well on camera, but I just thought it added something nice to the look. Then I went ahead and filled in my nose with some black eyeliner. I just drew a Y in the middle of my nose and then tracing the outlines and just simply filling that in.
I thought my eyes were missing something so I just took that blue eyeliner again and just drew a thin line around my eyes between the purple and the black. I also added a light pink eyeshadow on the center of my lids just to make my eyes stand out even more. Then it's time for lashes. So after applying some mascara, I applied these natural looking lashes on my top lash line. Following that up with this demi lash with glitter on it, which looks so beautiful. And we can't forget about the lower lash line. So of course, I'm gonna be applying some fake lashes there as well. Then I decided to decorate my face using some rhinestones. I used some sticker ones, but if you don't have that, you can also attach them using some lash glue. Last but not least, I decided to glam up this look some more using a glitter eyeliner. And with this, I just went over those purple lines, the blue line around my eyes, and also the spider web. Then to finish off this look, I just put on my pink wig that I got from eBay and I also added on this flower headpiece. So this is my sugar skull look. I really hope you like it. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you do. Subscribe to my channel for more Halloween tutorials and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!